हेलो वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल दैट इज मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन शील्डेड मेटर मेटल आर्क वेल्डिंग व्हिच इज आल्सो नोन एज एस एम एंड गैस मेटल आर्क वेल्डिंग व्हिच इज आल्सो नोन एज जी एम ए डब्ल्यू सो फॉर डिफरेंशिएटिंग दिस टू टाइप्स ऑफ वेल्डिंग आई हैव मेड टू डिफरेंट कॉलम the first column is for shielded metal arc welding and the second column is for gas metal arc welding and for understanding the points i have added certain images below those points okay so the very first point so in shielded metal arc welding a short and small diameter rod is used as a electrode the electrode length is typically restricted to 60 cm and the length of the electrode is typically in between 300 to 450 mm so the shielded metal arc welding is also known as electrical electric arc welding and mostly the grills gates and most of the civil work that is done with the help of shielded metal arc welding so in smaw basically such type of electrodes are used okay so a short and small diameter rod is used as a electrode in shielded metal arc welding and its length is typically in between 300 to 450 mm now uh, gas metal arc welding so gas metal arc welding employs a small diameter but long consumable electrode that comes in form of wire this long wire is wound in a spool okay so in gas metal arc welding the electrode is used in form of wire so such type of electrodes are used in gas metal arc welding so basically gas metal arc welding can be classified into tig and mig tungsten inert gas welding and metal inert gas welding okay so in such type of welding the electrodes are used in form of wire and this wire is wound in a pool okay so gas metal arc welding employs a small diameter but long consumable electrode okay in both type consumable electrodes are used but in case of shielded metal arc welding the electrode is smaller in length whereas in case of gas metal arc welding the electrode is used in form of wire which is very long in length and it is wound over a spool now the second difference short consumable electrode is required to replace free frequently thus welding cannot be carried out continuously for longer duration so here you can see the process of shielded metal arc welding so here uh, a short electric rod uh, sorry a, sh a short rod is used as a electrode okay so it is a type of consumable electrode so after its its consumption we have to replace it and we have to attach a new electrode to this uh, welding holder okay so a short consumable electrode is required to replace frequently as it is get deposited over the base metal so we have to replace it thus the welding cannot be carried out continuously for longer duration so we cannot perform the welding continuously after its deposition we have to use another electrode and for that uh for for that much of time we have to stop the welding and again we have to attach a different electrode and again we have to start the welding so it is not a continuous process now in gas metal arc welding because of very long consumable electrode it is not required to change frequently and thus the welding can be carried out continuously for longer duration so in case of gas metal arc welding we are using the electrode in form of wire so here you can see here you can see the electrode okay now that electrode is in the form of wire and it is get supplied through this welding torch okay now this is nothing but the welding torch here you can see the welding torch uh, this is the welding torch sorry uh, this is the welding torch and this wire is supplied through this welding torch okay so because of very long consumable electrode it is not required to change frequently and thus the welding can be carried out continuously for longer duration so we need not to change the electrode frequently so the welding can be performed for long duration which is not possible in shielded metal arc welding 
the next difference this process is not very productive as the filler deposition rate is low so the shielded metal arc welding process is not very productive as the filler deposition rate is very low okay so this is nothing but a shielded metal arc welding process so as we need to change the electrode frequently so the rate of deposition of molten metal is less so this is not a productive process okay now gas metal arc welding it can deposit the filler metal at very high rate and hence it is highly productive okay so as the electrode is in the form of wire and it is continuously supplied so the rate of deposition of uh, molten metal is very high in case of gas metal arc welding so it is a productive process as compared to shielded metal arc welding next point a flux coated electrode is utilized in shielded metal arc welding process the flux layer is thicker so here you can see the electrode now this portion this is nothing but the core core electrode okay and over this electrode the flux is coated so this is the coating of flux right and that is what written here so the a flux coated electrode is utilized in shielded metal arc welding process and the layer of flux is also thicker okay now gas metal arc welding bare electrode is utilized in gas metal arc welding process sometimes a thin anti corrosive coating layer is deposited on the electrode so here you can see a bare electrode we are using a bare electrode it do not have any coating over it as a flux and sometimes it has a coating but that coating is used as a anti corrosive element okay so a bare electrode is utilized in gas metal arc welding process sometimes a thin anti corrosive coating layer is deposited on the electrode okay so flux is not provided over the electrode whereas the flux is provided over the electrode in shielded metal arc welding next difference the flux coating of the electrode disintegrates during the welding and provides necessary shielding gas okay now this is a shielded metal arc welding process here you can see the electrode okay and that electrode is coated with the help of flux coating which is shown uh, with the help of green color the electrode is shown with the help of sky blue color uh, the electrode is coated with the flux okay so as the arc is generated in between the electrode and the base metal the electron starts flowing from the electrode to the base metal so it is get strike over the workpiece and hence the heat is generated and as the heat generates the flux coated over the electrode that is get disintegrates okay and that forms a gaseous shield and that gaseous shield protects the molten metal from the oxidation okay so that is the purpose of flux coating right so the flux coating of the electrode disintegrates during the welding and it provides necessary shielding gas okay why shielding gas is required because we have to protect the uh, molten metal from the oxidation okay and how that uh, shielded shielded gas is produced shielding gas is produced because of the flux so that flux get disintegrates and it forms a gaseous shield and we can protect the molten metal from the oxidation now gas metal arc welding process okay so here shielding gas is delivered additionally from a gas cylinder to the welding torch via suitable pipeline okay now this is a gas metal arc welding process here you can see in detail now the electrode is in the form of wire now the electrode is supplied through the torch okay this is known as torch this is the torch and the electrode is supplied through the torch this is the electrode which is shown in sky blue color and it is wound over the spool right and it is supplied through the torch now sorry it is supplied through the torch sorry okay 
Additionally, we can supply the argon gas through that torch. Now, argon is an inert gas. It do not react with the other gases. And that argon provides the shielding to the molten metal. Okay. So, here we have to additionally supply the gas to the welding torch. So, as to protect the weld from the from the other gases okay so as to protect the weld from the other gases and stop the oxidation process right so here argon gas is used and argon is an inert gas so additionally we have to use the gas in shielded met in gas metal arc welding okay the shielding is provided uh, with the help of flux in shielded metal arc welding whereas in gas metal arc welding for shielding purpose we have to supply the additionally ga additional gas that is known as argon the next process uh, the next point the flux also produce a slag layer on the weld bead this slag layer protects hot metal pool from oxidation but can also lead to welding defect if get embedded inside the weld bead okay so the flux protects the molten metal from being oxidation that is the benefit but sometimes that flux okay so first of all that flux get converted into the slag and that is get deposited over the molten metal right and that can be removed okay so here you can see the weld metal which is green in color okay and over that uh, weld metal you can see the solidified solidified slag right but sometimes what happened that slag get included inside the weld metal and that is known as slag inclusion which is a welding defect okay so sometimes that slag get included inside the weld metal and we we are we will be getting a defective weld bead okay so that is one of the defects in the welding that is known as slag inclusion which is possible in shielded metal arc welding now gas metal arc welding so due to absence of flux no slag layer forms on the weld bead so changes of the slag inclusion defect is also nil so as we are not using any type of slag, uh, any type of flux so that flux will not get converted into the slag and hence we are getting a clean welding in case of gas metal arc welding so here you can see a clean welding okay whereas in shielded metal arc welding this slag may get embedded inside the weld bead and there may be a possibility of uh, slag inclusion defect the next point it is versatile and it can be employed in different locations in several positions so the shielded metal arc welding process is versatile process and we can use it in number of positions in number of locations so mostly uh, the arc has to be created in between the weld and the base metal that is the basic funda here and uh, in different locations and in different uh, orientations or in position we can perform the welding with shielded metal arc welding okay whereas in gas metal arc welding it is preferred for down hand or inclined position only so it has some limitations as compared to your shielded metal arc welding we can perform it in uh, down hand okay or in inclined position the next point and the last point as the name suggests manual metal arc welding so the shielded metal arc welding is also known as manual metal arc manual metal arc welding is mostly carried out manually so the risk of human error is associated with the process so mostly the electric arc welding or the shielded metal arc welding is done manually okay so uh, very skilled labor is required for performing the welding so most of the defects are due to human errors only so that is possible in shielded metal arc welding uh, now the gas metal arc welding so the gas metal arc welding can be easily automated requiring minimum interventions of the human operator accordingly it eliminates the risk of human error okay as the electrode is uh, in the form of wire and it is get continuously supplied through the welding torch so we can easily automate the process and as we can automate the process so there will be less human interventions we need not to change the electrode frequently 
okay so we can easily automate the process and as we can automate it so there will be very less human interventions and hence there will be less defect in case of gas metal arc welding why we cannot automate the shielded metal arc welding process because we are using a short electrode and we have to change it frequently so we cannot eliminate we cannot automate it so it is a manual uh, manual process and as it is a manual process so uh, skilled labor is required and again there are some defects which is due to human error okay and for better understanding again uh, i am here explaining certain different uh, welding defects okay so the very first image that is showing the ideal weld then the second image you can see the cracks so the crack is one of the defect in the welding which is very serious issue then the next one is porosity so sometimes the gases gets entrapped inside the weld bead and that is get evolved in form of bubbles so we are getting some porosity inside the weld bead so the gases like uh, the environmental gases or the uh the gas like uh, argon which is an inert gas that is also get entrapped inside the weld bead okay so due to which there may be a porosity inside the weld then the next defect that is undercut so the cross section of the base metal that is get reduced that is known as undercut then the next defect slag inclusion so whenever the uh, the coated electrode is used that flux get converted into the slag and sometimes that slag gets entrapped inside the weld bead so that defect is known as slag inclusion then the spatter so the the metal in form of uh, the molten metal get spattered over the base metal that is known as spatter defect the next one is incomplete fusion so the molten metal that is not get completely fused with the base metal that is known as incomplete fusion the next one is incomplete penetration so the molten metal do not reach up to the root uh, the molten metal do not reach up to the root so due to which incomplete penetration will be there and the last one is overlap so the molten metal get cool and it it do not get fused with the base metal so due to which the welding defect cause that is known as overlap so these are nothing but the differences between uh, shielded metal arc welding and the gas metal arc welding uh, thank you so much for watching my video thank you